Hi, welcome to the show where I teach you how to edit like a professional. I'll be your host, Sam Bella, and this is Vid Tips. For today's episode, we'll be focusing on. Today, I'm going to show you how to create something similar to this. Today I'll be using the program called the Sony Vegas Pro 10.0. You can know that you can download at SonyVegas.com or Sony. To start off, you want to go to File, New. You want to make sure you have 29.970 frames per second and 720 x 4080p. You want to click OK. Now to start off, you want to go to Import Media. You want to find your raw footage, being clips you took to make the video. You want to put drop it down the table and you want to trim it up. Go over to where it starts, the selection of what you want, and go to where it ends. And promptly cut it using the S tool or edit trim. Drag it into the table. Get rid of the audio by delete track. Insert video track, you want to copy and paste that, so you have a copy on top now. Now you want to go insert, remove envelope, velocity, you want to do this for both of them. You want to bring it down slightly to 52%. You want to do this for both of them. Now that you've done that, you sign out your explosions, which you can get from detonationfilms.com. It's a great site, detonationfilms.com. All kinds of bullheads, blood, clouds, debris, dust, explosions, fire bursts, fire falls, leaves, fog, etc. You can really get anything there for free. Once you have that, you want to find it in your documents. Once you have it, you want to import it by selecting it and pressing open. Once you have that, you just need to do a little fine tuning on the video. You want to open the FX, you want to go to color, you want to go to color curves and brightness contrast. You want to lower the color curves and lower the brightness. Not too much so you can't see anything. Just right so the flames will have a nice contrast against the white. You want to do this again for both. just so you don't have anything bothering in the video. Once you have that, you want to go right click on the track, insert video track, you want to move this one up, and then you want to find the, fi the, fi the fire effects you want. Drop those into the track. Four to five should do it, depending on the outcome that you want. Once you have videos that you want, you want to go click on each one, go to FX, chroma key, you want to drop the backdrop to black, and a low threshold to about halfway. Do this for each one. Once you finish that, you're ready to complete the uh, effects. You want to drag it into the middle. You won't be able to see it because you need to do a little bit of adjusting. You want to click on the pan and crop tool. You can right click and do event pan and crop. Bring it up. You want to click on the mask tool, the mask button. You want to just slightly highlight the car by clicking around it, creating anchors. This will keep the flames off the car, creating a realistic effect. Now once you have that, now that you have your fireball ready, you want to make it according to size and place it behind the vehicle of your choice. As you can see it has a nice effect not affecting the car. You want to keep doing this until you have all your fireplaces in set.
Once you have the desired effect that you would like, and it's all going for into what you want, you want to finish trimming it up. Trim all the clips so that no excess is left. Once you finish that, every good clip needs some sound effects. You can find this again at technicianfilms.com. You want to time it accordingly to the sound of the other explosions. Once you have that, also every track needs some good music and a good soundtrack. Once you have that, you again want to just drag it down the track, trim it accordingly, put a little fade offset to it. And you get a pretty damn good look. If you have that done, you want to go to the render as Name your title. Once you have that, you want to click Windows Media Video Player version 11 or whatever version you have. You want to click on Custom Video 100% Sharpest DVD Quality or High Definition. Do that and save. This may take several minutes depending on the size and speed of your computer. Once this is done, you want to go open folder, you want to find it within your folder, open it, and you are ready to view it. And there you have it, that is how you add explosions to a video. Thanks for watching.